Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Where it's been talked about, uh, he was a human trafficking, bad labor practice. People lured in different kinds of uh, uh, situations, inhumane uh, treatment. This inhumane treatment that they get uh, when they travel to this country. And Oman has since been in the news. Uh, I mean, people from the diaspora have collected money, talk show hosts, to get Liberians out there. But what is causing Liberians to still go to this particular country? How are they recruited? Who's behind? Has anyone ever been punished? What is the Ministry of Labor doing about it? What's governments doing about it? And how is it that our sisters continue to languish in such a situation that is that has gotten out of control. Stanby is only 28. She had three kids. She was selling drinks, doing well here, according to her, until a friend uh, contacted her, recruited her to travel to Oman. But she did not tell her it was Oman that she was going to. They told her that she was going to the UAE, Dubai. So she went on the internet, started about that place, it was beautiful, and then she took the journey. What started as a good journey to go in to the land of milk and honey and see greener pastures and come back to the country has landed her into the hands of her slave masters. Let's get to it, Sandy. Welcome to Lena Panorama. Yeah. Now, first, you introduce yourself and tell us, when did you come from Oman? Stevie is my name. I came from Oman the 20th. I came from Oman. December 23rd? Yes. Two days to Christmas? Yes. Were your master giving you a Christmas gift? No. They just, it was just the date that you had to come back? Yes. Okay. Let's digress. How were you recruited to go to Oman? I went to Oman to one of my friends, they called her Getchu Williams. She the one told me about Oman business. She told me about Dubai. She said how I'm going to be working, be making a thousand dollars plus. I'm going to be free, everything. I'm even going to be going to school. Mm -hmm. I was already encouraged me for me to go there. She told me I shouldn't tell anyone. I told her she took, she said she gave her 500 out of US. We got 250 for me to go to Ghana. Then they bought 250 so she can be able to look for different documents for me. I said, okay. But we don't have airport here? When she told you come to go to Ghana, don't we have Roberts International Airport? No, she said we should use road. And for me, and oh, you travel by road? Yes. Wow. I made six days on the road. I could reach to Ghana. Yeah. So that Jeha, I said, I thought I was a good place to enter. Talk about the recruiting process. Explain the whole thing. <clears throat> how you, where you left your children, all of that. Talk about it. I left my children with my mom and my sister. I was even having no money said because the money I was having, everything I want to use, I gave to her. So I left my kid, my three kids with my mom and my sister. The day I was going to tell my man, I said, You didn't know about it. Because I shouldn't tell anybody. Why did your children pass? He now even get time for the for the children. He working right here to the president every year, but he didn't get time for the children. When I call him, he said the children are my dash. So that all I want to encourage me. He said the children are your are your yeah, dash? They are my dash. So he dashed the children to you? Yes. That's that that's your prophet? Yes. What's his name? His name is Salomon Yanti. Solomon Yanti. Yes. That's his name. And he he left you with three children? Mm, no, I've, he, I and him have one. One? Yeah. And what's the other father for the other two? That the, one, I don't even know he where, but before he was in time, but I can't even hear for him. When I call him, I know can hear bounce back. Yeah. He too also just had those kids and he fled. Yeah. And then Solomon also, what's his name as well? Who? The first two. My first two children, father, mm -hmm. he named Tano. He just, he too left? Yes. 
What's the oldest? The, 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 My first one name is Stembio. Yeah, the oldest, his age. 14. And the youngest? Eight. Eight years old? Yeah. And the eight years, the one for Solomon? No, the four years old. The four years? Yeah. It's a boy or girl? Girl. I have two girls, one boy. Does she ask for her dad? Yeah. She ask. Can he calls to talk to her? Uh-uh. Thank you. And so it was the drinks that you were selling yeah. to feed these three kids. Yes. Who who yeah, fathers yeah. are alive, working, yeah. and they say, screw you. Yeah. Pay their school fees, feed them, do everything for them, through that drink. Then this there came this yeah. great offer. Yeah, I thought that was a great opportunity. So I was so happy. I said at least I am a training life can be changed. Mm -hmm. So that Jeha, when she told me, I said to her, I play, I listen to her too. That Jeha, I went to Ghana. When I went to Ghana, they sent my visa, everything to me. What did grandma say? My mom? Yeah. My mom said, what she was thinking, which one of the country I'm going to, what play I'm going to, my mom will cry. What play I'm going to, I said, mom, be fair, the play I'm going to, a good place I'm going to, my friend said, a good place I'm going to, so you don't need to worry. She said, okay. That Jeha, I said, I left. When I reached the Ghana, my visa, everything came to me. When Talk I, about the road. From Labrador yeah, to yeah. Ghana? How, yeah, how did y'all leave? Did <laughs> the immigration well, stop? Thing. Explain about it. Take your time. No, to, from Labrador to go to Ghana, but nobody had helped me. I just didn't the travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just didn't the travel. I just didn't reach there. I just want to study the road, which I don't know the place name, but I think I, some part of Labrador, yeah, the Put it all together. Mm -hmm. They saw my passport. They saw my citizen ID. They got everything. Yeah. Where you going? I said I going to Ghana. Now all they can ask. They ask everybody that from they will get in the car again. Just that I will make six days on the road. When I reach to Ghana, they send me my visa. Everything. I made three days in the country. Mm -hmm. What part of Ghana? For our own the camp. Okay, so that's a crap. No Budubra. Yeah, yeah, that's in Accra. Okay. Right outside Budubra. Yeah, that's the place I was at. So I make three days that they get another more agent there too. Wow. From boys there. I don't even know that. They're librarians? Yeah. They are librarians. Then they are Ghanaians. They mean get like me on the airport, but she Ghanaian. Yeah. So she carried me on the airport. She talked to the immigration police. Then they do that. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that Jaha, when we went, Reach to Dubai. I said, oh yeah. So every, everything you had were since Dubai? Yeah. Okay. All my people and everything. But when I reached now to my ultimate surprise now, when they put the, 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 how they call it, the visa, everything in a brand envelope. Mm -hmm. They say, I shouldn't be telling, they say, well, as you have telling people, they say, I'm going to Dubai. I say, but in Dubai, when they say, yeah, when they reach there, we'll call you. So when I reached to Dubai, they had to call me, say, you're going to Dubai. You're going to Oman. Don't stop to Dubai. If you get on, if you get to the airport, Get in another boat plane again. I said, ah. She said, yeah, I play you go in here. My son, I'm not in the do I go in the plane too. I left one wish. My slave master came for me well to the airport. Took my passport. You said slave master? Yes. They put my boss man. Mm -hmm. He came for me. Arame. He took my my passport, everything for me. He said, let's go. Oh, yeah, I know you're taking my passport to do something sent to the right. airport. So when we wish, I said, oh, can I have my passport? He said, no, I'll get your passport tomorrow. They pray, he not give me my passport. He said, oh, you know what you can't for? At first I said, how, no. From the airport? Yeah. To where you stop? How four many hours? Four hours distance. From the airport to go to where I was <sighs> to go stay, four hours distance. I just will wish, when we wish, he said, oh, sleep here in the warehouse. And the room they can get for you to sleep the warehouse. So in I'm the really, warehouse. Yes. That where you slept. Yes. I slept. What came to your mind when you I was surprised. First one I saw I said, I may be in the neighbor, so he gave me the place here for me to sleep. Maybe tomorrow he'll give me my room. But I know when I play I'm going to be here for the rest of my I got him my one year, two months. So I slept there in the morning. He said, you know, can I wake up to you? I told him say no. He said, Okay, you can't wash. You can't cook, you can't clean up the horse, you can't press. You make sure you clean the horse every blessing day. You clean all around the place, you throw there, everything. I said, ah, one person went. He said, yes, that is what you will be doing. 
The one he told me, Chai, if you talk this way, woman brought the basket of clothes outside mm -hmm. for me to wash. I wash the clothes when you got dry. They say you have to press the clothes. And you can't sit down. You will stand on your feet and you will press all that clothes. When you finish pressing it, you have to go cook. And you cook four times per day. Four times per day. You will cook. In the morning, I'll go to bed by 12. I will call 4. 4 a.m. in the morning. Yes. I will call 4 o'clock. I start preparing the training breakfast. When I finish, the hostel I will live in a 10 room, 10 bathroom. 10 rooms? 10, 10 rooms, 10 bathrooms. And you clean all of them? Every blessing day, you will scrub that bathroom. If you're not be clean, you'll go back there and say you should go and clean it again. You can't be auto or what if you auto or what will jump on you and they beat you. When you go to the person, they sell you. The people that sing here, they sell you, you slave. And then they can call you, they call you, they call you slave. And you ain't get nothing to do. Just that, that yeah, yeah, on the, when you sick, they can't even get you to hospital. You'll be three minutes to wake you up to go work. And you'll be what was the worst you. moment you had when you were dead? That you you you, you almost said no. Number, is... number one, they beat me. Number two, the one I really, really, the one I can really get to me. Is the master sleeping with you? Anytime, anytime, any minute, they will sleep with you. They you did that to no. you? Yes, you can't say no. You will never say no. If you say no, they will beat you. Just to die. Every day. I got sick and all. When they say, Oh, I want to go to the hospital, they say they can't get you to the hospital. If they eat, if you cook that food, if they finish eating a food, leader, therefore you will eat. If no food, then you won't eat. You won't eat. That if what they can cook out of water with tomato, you'll not even eat that food. Did you, did you in a way try to contact the police? What you will say to the police? I got some of my friends that are impression right now, some of them, it will crazy. Anything what? that people say, anything that people say, that's the final. They put finish speaking in Arabic, then what you will say that for you to be right? Nothing you will say that for you to be right. Nothing you will say that. And if they put even get to the police officer, they will beat you. They put you in jail. Nothing. It, it was not easy in Oman. I got tired of many days. I made one year, two months in Oman. I got tired. I told the person I won't come back home. They want to pay me. Oh, I told, oh yeah, if I won't come back home, the people will, you know, help me to buy my ticket. But they want us into when I, I will have in the talk it for me. I have to go on go on TikTok. TikTok. I can show you some images in my phone yet. I have to go on TikTok and beg people on TikTok before I get transportation to come back to Liberia. The money I will have in the talk it for me. They say I have to pay the expenses because they buy me from the person I send me there. My friend I send me there, they get I send me there, they wow. buy me from there. So I have to pay them. I just gave them the 1,200 adults. Did you report the abuse to any police officer or something? Where? In the people country? Mm -hmm. No, I was scared because what they were doing to my other friends then. If my friends then get us, the police people catch me. If they go to the they put can put them in jail. The master in Canada then they say, oh, the person stole from us. They were lied to the police? Yes. The person stole from us. The person do so, 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 and they will put you in jail. And you can get nothing to do. You will not say nothing, so I was afraid. What? The, were the masters, wives, and all those people okay with the abuse that were happening to you? They didn't get problem with it. They can't even talk. The point you get problem, they can't even talk nothing. You they are asleep. If the people not sleep, you will not sleep. If they sleep, you will not sleep. You will be working. Working. 24 says no resting, no day off. No day off. I will. I will get that I have to leave like brother to go to that country. If I knew I was going to say that because I was doing well, I didn't sell in my market, getting my money, taking care of my children. You were doing well. Yes. I was selling my children to school. I was having my own bag. I was having two motorbikes and all. Two my drinks I was selling. Then me and none of the car I can't do that, but I even have a sleeping place. I can go to my friends and sleep with them. Yes, Harriet Carson, she said this has to stop people shoot and those uh, who are misleading these girls someone someone has to freaking go to jail and that's the problem with this it's not easy what are you hearing from some of your friends i got one of my friends now they call her serena she 
But her heart will come back. I think she caught that you say one time the call said we no pay. She felt her heart will come back. But she even ran away. Her document stay in the people. Oh yeah, she she, yeah. I got her. Okay. She didn't contact me. Yeah, she did. She just looking for plenty of money. Just to come back home. It's not easy. Man, you are never going to go to Oman. I'm never going to go there. Let me hear. When you came back, uh, did you reach out to the, uh, let's say, refugees, the LRRC, or no. Ministry of Labor, or whatever? I know you've been in the country for like about eight days now, right? Yeah. Since I came, I don't go nowhere yet. What, what did you meet when you got back and your children, all of that? Hmm. What condition you met your children in? They are not even in good condition. The place they stay in that someone gave them Zimran warehouse. That where they stay. If I knew we would have shot this video right to to that house. house. Yeah. They live in somebody in the warehouse that where they stay. That where I met them. They're not even in school. They are not going to school. How do they go to school? How are their mind they buy everything? They are not going to school. I just told them I'm going to go to Oman. My life was going to be. It was going to be better, but it just got worse. It's okay. It's the snap came right there. Take one. I'm not going to school with my mom. It's my mother in the warehouse where they stay. The place I left them. When they be taking on them, they put them outside. Oh, where you, where you left them? Yes, they couldn't pay the rent. Yes. And they got evicted. Yeah. I tried one woman help me in the community to where she used to keep her coat. Mm -hmm. She told my mom and my sister, say, you and the children can't can, can stay here. Yeah. Because your daughter, she ain't get no problem. She was yeah. You know, everybody left her being there, whole day, our mom, our mom, so, so long she ain't here, we help you. I just give her the warehouse. I just give my mom the warehouse. Now, where my mom and my sister, my children, now, where they stay. Okay, Dwight Dyer says, uh, let me see, Dwight, uh, Dwight Dyer, D-Y-E-R. Uh, yeah, let me just put this information up. Uh, we're going to keep, yeah, you can be talking while I put this information up, okay? Yeah. Two, three, one. Hey, when they even read, they said they can carry you to another house to go work. Yeah, most of the girls I interviewed, they said that. Yeah, they'll carry you to another person's house. They resell you. She said that. No, like I said, you, you live in here, no? Uh -huh. They'll carry you to another person's house, one of their brother and all their sister, they'll carry you there to go work. You'll work there for the whole day, you can't. Home. They will not even give you money, nothing they will not give you. You go work there, you come back home just like that. Wow. Any, or any of the relatives want somebody to come work for them, they will carry you there. You ready? Really, all again, we carry you on the farm and all. To where they got their cows, their goods, their things, and they will carry you there. So, for the warehouse business, I was talking about the their storeroom. In the morning, rich. And I work, I think doing my wedding in the evening again, the same place again. So I asked him, I said, Oh, but where I'll be sleeping? He said, Yeah, there's a room there. That where you'll be sleeping at, in the store room. And the place I'll be sleeping again. I gave you mat. One small day, they spread now. Oh. That where I was sleeping, I made one year, two months there. That where, that where I made. You got any photos from that place? From, you know, the phone mm -hmm. I was having, mm -hmm. how they call it, is for. And my sister from say I will get yeah. Yeah. Now they came to the people hmm. they are really, really wicked. They are wicked. You they wanna open me if you if you sick, they will not carry you to a hospital. They will be treating they will require you to go work. They will require you to go work. Then anytime the boss may won't do anything with you, he will do it on you. You can't say no. If you say no, they will jump on you and beat you. You know, if you get right in the people country, you know, because I can't even talk. Most of my friends say, I say, Nana's money, you in sell some money crazy and all. God, they not made one year in there, two years in there in sell. God, they can't the people for one too much. 
they will say, all the people need the sticks, they have got the sticks and all the jewelries, they put in sticks, so, 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 a man of money for me. Now, I'm me. This friend who recruited you from here in Liberia, you still, did you met, you, you've seen them? No. And when I was there, when things started, you know, that things that happened to me, when I call her, she blocked me. She the blocked first thing She told me, say, I only able to send you there. Why am I able to take you from there? So if you able to move from Seven, stop. Yeah, can that number stop calling me? Go ahead. Yeah, the number I knew for him before. Is that the number he using? You can go if I try it. They can tell me. If you know. are the one who sent the money, please, uh, uh, please just say you are the person so that we can, uh, we can uh, uh, acknowledge you. And uh, I will, after the broadcast, uh, yes, thank you. That's Milton Shepherd. Okay, you want to say thanks to Milton. Thank you so much. Shut sure. wait. All right. So Milton just send you that money. At least uh, you can, uh, as we're asking more people to help you, we will put your number up. Maybe somebody want to help you with the kids. You know, librarians are generous people, especially to the people uh, 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 on this. Do I that? Dwight Dyer will say he's sending to Josephine right now to the cash app. Thank you, Dwight. I want to say thanks to Dwight uh, for that so right to the cash app. And uh, the generous people will put your number, but you will have to fight to get a, you know, a WhatsApp number because calling direct now is a tough thing. You know? Yeah, I got a WhatsApp number. Okay, so, you know. And, and she blocked you. You can't get to her. Yeah. The mother tell me that she only able to send me there, but she able to take me from there. Yeah, yeah, she like me. Facebook, WhatsApp, everything she like me since that time. I can't say I have to have come to see her. I can't even see her. All of this, who do you blame? Is it out of ignorance or your struggles? That led you to Oman, or yeah. you bring the situation in the country, or what? If number one, if the way I think it, if things were going to be okay in the country, things were not going to be hard. I'm not going to go down there. I'm not going to go down there. I've got one children's school fees. Say yeah, he say he say you can be a friend. So Johnson, uh, Johnson, cool, nutritious was calling. Um, so let's put your number up. Uh, we will put it in the broadcast after here, guys. So uh, we will put uh, 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 Stan Beat's number in the broadcast. But in the interim, let me just put it up. So just in case later on, what's that WhatsApp number? 7776. 776. Yeah. 97. 357. Okay, and that's Stanby's number right there. Did you, did you, you know, did you lose, uh, let's say, somebody just sent 20 more dollars. Okay, so if you see Stanby's number, you could keep retyping that number first. Uh, uh, somebody, Dwight just did his cash up, so you got 63 bucks. Um, if you, if, if, let's say you came back in that same community, mm -hmm. what were the people saying? Were they laughing at you? Oh, yeah. Hey, like and, you people. You, and you say you travel, you go back, all of you stay the scene, you go, all of the country, you come out, all of us stay the scene. You all you the OSS more, say, I want to let them better. Uh -huh. See the video said they'll be laughing more like the mother said they'll be laugh but I, I I can't do anything. That's the only thing I can do. Because somebody will know that said we're doing everything on it by themselves, mm -hmm. get their own place to stay. They live in you know sleeping on the ground with their friend. I get nothing else to do. My children are going to school. All I want to so even go around my children so I can be shame. So even wow. though I can be shamed because I don't even know what to do to imagine my 14 year old son not in school. He in sound way, he's not in school. It's it, it really really disgrace. It really really has got a shameful. It really really 
Stanley Zorba. Thank you, Austin. Zorba. Z O R B A H. And you saying that, uh, I know we spoke about this, and you said, Mr. Wicks, I don't care. My only hope now is to, you know, is to cry for help. Yes. And explain my story and be honest about it. Yeah, I don't care if people laugh at me. I'll still thank you. Yeah, I don't care. I'm just doing this because I have nothing. I have nothing. I have nowhere to stay. Can you imagine my children where I know my children were with me? We sleep in a good place. At least it was okay. They sleep in a warehouse. I just begging people to help me because it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. It's not easy. Get your three children and then you don't have place to stay. They stay in a warehouse. Somebody just sent you another twenty-two bucks again. Uh, that's okay. Let's if see. I knew I'm not going to leave this country to go to Oman. If I do, I thought the place I was going to Dubai, I thought things were going to be okay. But everything just get worse, worse on me. I don't know what to do. That's the only thing I can do. That's the reason why I've been calling you, Mr. Wiz, please help me. Or Mr. Wiz, please help me because it's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah. Some days I can't say you will bounce back. How do they eat? What's the condition with they and grandma in so that way? I can't even go there, sir. So I can't even go there, mama. Oh, you call me. You don't come me, I say, man, get nothing. I can't go to go see my children. I ain't to go there. I ain't able. I ain't able to go to my own children. Because you think that's the best decision? I don't want to do. You know, when you go around children, they yeah. want money, they want food. Well, I was wanting, I get it. So I just think to stay away will be the best thing, but I ain't want to go there. Go on, they come to you, they'll be money coming to you at least. Oh, our oh, man come you, they want something for in your hand. They want something. They want food to eat. They want things. I ain't want to go there. The first time I came, I went to my children and sleep I said, I just wish we could do the video to my husband that I told them. To one mama stay so you can see the place. Yeah, we can come there. It's not easy. My sister's children, and there are so many. My children, it's not easy. So I can't even go to my mom's place. I can just stay to my friends. Then wow. People, they're laughing at me. I had to go out because how will go outside, put they're laughing at me. And you say you travel. Why? We are the ones where you travel, you come out here, so we'll be picture around here, so kind of be baking you what about was then? I don't want to see the video that was saying one other thing, but I don't care. That's the only thing I want to do at least to stay by on my feet. Because I'm not a lazy person, as much as I can say. I was telling my dreams, everything was okay for me. Everything was okay for me. You say you had two bikes besides that? Yes, I was having two motorbikes. Drinks, two certain drinks. I said it. I bought two new new motorbikes that were running. I have to sell it just because I was. You sold to all of those to, to, yes. to leave? I sold it just for me to go down there to get the money to go because they said I should pay money for me to get all the documents and pay money for here to go to Ghana. So I have no choice. Somebody just cash up 20 bucks to Jojo. I mean, the information is up there. Please, guys, uh, I know how generous you are. You know, let's just, I don't know. I never pleaded with you before. Yeah, somebody said we're gonna go to your house tomorrow in the evening and film from there with the kids and see where you stay and do a follow up video. Wow. How did it feel when you? When you step on that plane and the plane took off. No, I who are my children? You when you were in Oman on the on the twenty seventh of December. When you when you put foot on that plane and you were headed to Liberia. It was just looking at and say, I'm going to America before, but just looking at and say I'm in America. I was happy I, I couldn't even wait until we reached Liberia. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. It's just that I said when you when you be in jail for years and then they 
free your first time seeing light. That's how I'm looking. That's how I'm looking. I'm already, I'm already happy. I'm already, really happy. I've been praying to God. Just imagine that people on TikTok have to help me with transportation. Just for me to be able to come out to Liberia. I beg people, I beg people on Facebook, on TikTok. But people on Facebook, nobody can help me, but I go up with half a people on TikTok. I didn't want to help me. There's yeah, some Liberians in the States that didn't want to help me with transportation. Wow. To come back to Liberia here. You remember some of the names? Yes. Yeah, you can say thanks. I mean, you might not remember all, but. Yeah, I got all of me. They call him Rich. Yeah, they call him Rich. And I got the other one. They call him uh, King. They call him Lee. Yeah, King Lee. Then I got Will. I got Cecilia. I got Princess. Yeah, that's one of the people they need that I can remember. Mm -hmm. I did not want to help me with transport. They don't want to buy my ticket. They send the money to me, but they bought my ticket. Good job. And they, yeah, they bought the ticket and they sent it to me. That just how I left Oman. Yeah. Trying to even look for the ticket here. I don't know who calling me here. Yeah, I see. It's an answer. The overseas call, right? No. Okay, this look at this. Hello? Yeah? Yeah, get your call you back with you, man. Wow. Yeah, that's just they, they pay my way to come back. They bought my ticket, they send it to me. That's how I came back to Liberia. It's that easy, Mr. Wish. It's that easy. Yeah, okay. King, King Lee is watching. He said, I'm here, sis. Thank God you're back home. Thank you, King, for watching you. You guys are some of the unsung heroes out there. They don't want to help me on TikTok. I will wow. tell you, they don't want to help me on TikTok to buy my, how they got my ticket mm -hmm. to come out of Liberia. Somebody just sent you $30.94 uh, $30. again. So this is good. Wow. It's not easy. Christmas just passed. How did the kids, I mean, celebrate Christmas? And I even go there. Another so forty dollars from somebody. I even go there, so I don't even know how they spend the Christmas or even the New Year. I don't what? Even know. I will go there when I don't have anything to care to my kids. Then I go there to do what? So they can cry? I just stay home whole day to my friend's place. My friend even asked me, you going to the train? I said, but how will I go? I think if you're, if you're, you're going to a train and you got money or food, send your hands, I think they will be happy. I don't even know how they spend at Christmas, not at the New Year. I even go there. Up to now, I even go there, yeah. Try to do that. Send me for a high and call you. Mm -hmm. Because it's not easy. You are going to go there. I know we're gonna to go to your house hopefully by tomorrow, out in the morning to film the yard with the kids and all of that. And with the little money you raise here, maybe you can buy them something and take it. But we're gonna go and take the camera around and continue in the yard. But I, I when you talk to the people watching here, I think a little over, about five hundred plus of them, or four to five hundred of them. Yeah. Yeah, just begging everyone that is watching this video. Please, my people, it's not easy on me. I just came from Oman with nothing. I have three children, three kids. It's not easy on me. I just begging you to help me. I don't even have place to stay. My children, they live in, in a warehouse, some cold warehouse. I just begging you, you please help me. Any way you can help me, I just begging you, please. I begging you, it's not easy for me. I beg you, please. At least let me get by on my feet. Let me get place to stay. I stay with my friend. I just begging you, it's not easy, please. My children, they are not even in school. I got 
my son he he in south gray i got the other one she in third gray i got the other one in k1 they are not even in school hmm. just because i don't have money to pay their school fees it's not easy for me please i just begging you your please help me i beg you we're gonna follow up uh dwight uh dwight dyer he said he you should follow up uh We'll put your number in there. Um, and a lot of people want, uh, he's from Atlanta. Uh, a lot of people want to, uh, do you follow up after this interview? You reach out to any relative? Since I came, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Because I shame. They committed, they said, that's what thing people telling me. If I even talk about from no good old, Family member, they say, oh, when you travel, a guy name, or that one. I ain't want to go anywhere. I shouldn't allow to anybody, I ain't want to go anywhere. And who the family said that I even get? Who the family that I, I get? <laughs> my auntie, my father, my father died. Only my mother I got. Somebody just sent another $50 for you. My mother, my father, sister, they be living, I they call it. Boston, the other woman in it, they have nothing. Mm -hmm. So, I was small, my parents brought me to Moro over here. That's, that's we and Doro. Wow. Yeah, I was small, my parents brought me here. We were two, my brother passed away. If I would even leave this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, second die. I just had. All I want to make me see, but then let me go. Maybe when I go on the side, the way I show on the day, mm -hmm. things will be okay for us. The one I don't say my lay, my kid, they want to go a hustle. Mm -hmm. I can't buy at least I'll be able to buy my lay piece of me at least to do something. But then I'm going to go make everything worse for me to take all the small chat. Somebody want to know their self, got things for their self, you know. Anytime they want to wake up, they will wake up. Anytime they want to cook, they will be able to cook. I just a small baby. Get a small baby, my friend, and I cook. I can eat. So then, what do I mean to go to my children? And if I want to put pot on fire for myself, how will I go to my kid? And it was not easy, my people. I get baking. You're, you're really, really need to help me, please. Anyway, you're able to help me. I beg you. It's not easy, please. Go confess if I don't want to be for the people that want TikTok and I stay in a people here. Mm -hmm. I stay in a here. I stay in a here. Just imagine the late money now I have in my hand. They put that me to give it to them. After I work for them for one year, two, two months. Wow. So I should give it to them. And I was forced to give it to them. Because if I give it to them, if I wonder they will put me in jail. Mm -hmm. If the police will catch me, they will put me in jail. As I said, I got some of my friends now in cell, now that's money. Crazy and all. They in cell. Go on, when they put cash you, when they put you in jail, they say, oh, they put some stuff from us. And when they take, when they, they put it, they don't speak, they allow it to their friends. Then nothing you can say there. Nothing you will say that you're right. We don't even have embassy. Now. We don't have is, nobody to talk for us. Is there anything good about that country? Nothing good about it. What a what good thing I did when I went there, I was slave for the people there. And I see, I'm nothing I see there. I know used to go anywhere, so I don't know what's in good there. You guys don't go out? No. In your house. The only time you can go out to go throw there. Or if they won't carry you to go buy things, so you can throw it. That's the only time you can go out. Wow. That's the only time. But 24 says you'll be in a house. 24 says you'll be in a house. Wash the thing, uh, wash the thing bathroom. Clean the tin room every day. You Thank you for the person hospital. who just sent out forty dollars. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah. Can't go anywhere. You say they ain't get you to hospital. You'll be trimming the pool work while you to go work. Now wanna like one of the things I can really pay me. Yeah, so if you're if you're going to if you're going to bed at twelve and waking up at four, that means you although it sounds like four hours but it's like three hours after we got early in the morning to go do their work 
wash and press you will press all that clothes then so until the basket foot you will press all you will stay on your feet you're not sitting down you will stay on your feet you press everything all the children in your clothes everything you will press it when you finish then you go make another thing they call japati you go make it a certain flower you will make it for them continue dance per day if you cook when i go finish eating if no food in i play no food for you the food that you eat, if no food there for you, you will drink water for the day that the woman name, which means you fasting. Just say that. And all of you say the same thing. That you don't you cook and don't touch the food. You can't touch the food, you only dead or cook. When you finish cooking the pork and they take the food, they carry it. You take everything you carry when they don't dish the food, you carry it, they put in a big way that they carry mm -hmm. they carry it for them. You send it eat. When they finish eating a food leader. You eat and the food out there when they put they finish eating mm -hmm. and while you will put together and eat. A food, no food there, you will not eat. And then be nothing in the plate. That's it. You go, you wash all that plate, then everything clean up the kitchen. Every day on a daily basis. Three times per day that people will eat. If no food and when they fast more can eh, eh. the work might give be smart thing. The work can be smart thing. Y'all work on the same food work like again. You'll start making food again again. Eat soon money. You cook. When you're finished cooking, that they eat. When they finish eating, they go lay down and sleep. While they're sleeping, you can't sleep. Oh. You have to be working because they have small, small flour thing that they can eat. You will face all that small, small sweet, yama, yama thing. You have to face everything. You keep it. When the woman comes in, she's showing you how to start making the food. You make everything. Say something like you hold it. Hmm. And when they ready to, when people are ready to can eat, so now, the whole thing will come to the hustle. So now, 14. They will come, they can't join the other people, then they eat. She said that you turn the white dishes and not be smart, and you will wash that dish. Wait, well, you know what it means? For example, you're having 14 people in your house, then not 14 people can't join, you know how many people mm -hmm. there are there. You have to wash all that plate, then do everything. Before, so I said, I talk, I said, you might have two or three that you go, you might be, or two work that you go, you might be. And when they say four, one minute, I shouldn't even pass it. Um, one minute pass by that poor woman for you, that be small thing for you. How are you? When they wait, they can carry to another horse to go work. Then the brother or the sister mm -hmm. got her own horse. You go in there to go work. They see what you do to the horse. They see what you went to that brother or sister. Home. You wash, you cook, you press. Clean that whole horse there. How are you do? If they say that like, every Saturday you go there, you must go there. Every Saturday you can't say no. You will go there. And you, the whole thing, you can't tell people say, I'm tired today. You can't tell them say, you're tired. No tired, Benny. You can't tell them say, you say, go, you say, say, yeah, look, and I say, you will say, water on top, but they will not give you medicine. They say, you have to go work, and you, have, you will go work. Um, what is name? Can you please put her number and name back up? I just did that. Uh, can somebody put the number and the name back up? Uh, what his name was typed. Right. Thank you so much, my brother. That's... Uh, uh, Austin Newman, thank you so much, Austin. You did well. Uh, okay, Betty Sisusa just sent fifty United States dollars. Thank you. That was the last money sent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sis Betty. Okay, we're gonna come to your house tomorrow uh, to do the filming, Austin. Thank you so much. Uh, so now you have her number. Or Dwight Dyer is asking that we contact him. He has sent me his uh, WhatsApp number. So I will give it to you and you can contact maybe somebody, guys. She could start a coal business or go back to her drinks business, you know. You know, like I always tell some of my family people, I say, I'd rather help a stranger because most of you guys don't deserve some stuff that I have because your few were related. So you can just do anything you want to do. But again, Oman is back. Just when we thought, you know, the head of this particular monster was smashed. We see again, there are tons of our sisters who continue to languish, you know, in excruciating pain uh, in that country with nobody, you know, to pay attention to their plights. And uh, in the case of her, she was doing pretty well. Her business was going well. I mean, not, not like a wealthy person, but she was doing well by her standards. And she thought she would have, you know, 
double down on that in the, in the foreign land with the numbers placed to her, then she was lured into that country. Well, I'm Kwame Nopa, week's uh, folding a panorama. We take our camera to where no journalist in the Republic of Liberia has ever, ever taken this to. We say goodbye, God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to be on this dial when we go to Sandy's house tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you.